Oh, 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 oh. Here comes a remote control Lego Lamborghini. And supposedly even the headlights will light up. But how did they achieve that? Will it be like the last year's Porsche? Because if so, then this set is crazy overpriced. Am I right? Let's find out. My name is Zoltan. Let's build. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. So yes. Apparently, this Lambo is built on the same base as last year's Porsche, so chances are it will also feature that much faster motor that was first introduced in that Porsche set. At least, that's what I'm assuming. The set number is 42214, and like the others, it will hit the shelves on August 1st. It contains 1135 pieces, and Brace yourself, this set will cost 190 USD or 180 euros. So if I break it down by parts, that's about 16 or 17 cents per piece, which is, again, ridiculously expensive. Flipping the box over, you can see that this Lambo skin can also be unlocked in the Asphalt Legends game. The model will be 16.5 inches long, and you'll need to download the Control Plus app to operate it. Oh. All right, so we have nine number bags, four tires. Here is the battery, because this set will powered by battery, not the AAA batteries, the real one. And here is the not so brand new, but still new, uh, mother plus everything else together. And here is the sticker sheet, a huge one and a small one too. It is the extra code to that game and the manual, which will be 266 pages long. Oh, and we can see the original and the Lego version, side by side. But no, nothing else, just some extra information about the Control Plus up, but that's it. So, nothing else to do. I'm gonna start this build and let's see those function, let's see the size, and let's see this new-ish engine. So, yet another Lambo, <laughs> which is not the easiest model to recreate in a Lego form. The real thing has some pretty complex shapes, so they had a really hard job here. This is a textbook example of a difficult design to replicate. Take yesterday's Boxy Bronco, for instance. That was a perfect choice for a Lego set, but this one, <laughs> definitely more challenging. But before we dive into the details, let's see the building process. So. This is a remote controlled car, meaning it has a completely different philosophy compared to, say, yesterday's set. First off, there is this new hub. Just snap in the battery and you are good to go. 
No need to mess around with AA batteries, which is I appreciate. Of course, there is a price for that. Basically, everything is built around this big brick. The build starts with the rear axle, of course, there is no suspensions. Next came the chassis, which connects to the hub. And even at this stage, it was clear. <laughs> it's going to be huge. A super simple front axle is added, connected by a long drive shaft. Fortunately, there is a testing phase built in here, which is really important with motorized sets. This way, if something isn't working, you can still fix it relatively easily. Thankfully, everything worked perfectly for me. It steered and drove just fine. Then came the installation of the lights, which are the same as in the Porsche set. The light is transmitted with fiber optics. After that, it was just a matter of finishing up paneling, first the rear, then the front, and boom, done. Now, I can already tell you one huge positive thing in this set. It's way more detailed and has significantly more parts than last year's Porsche set. Yet it's only 20 bucks more expensive. <laughs> That's basically nothing for a set like this. I mean, it's still expensive, but not that much more expensive than the last year's set. But now let's see the size and the scale, because, you know, everybody wants to know the scale of this set. So this Lamborghini measures 3.5 inches high, 16 inches long, and 6.5 inches wide. That puts the scale around 1 to 12, and yes, it looks absolutely huge, even at first glance. The grey color suits it well, especially with these few lime green highlights. But now, let's talk about the details. Now, the front of the car. Uh, uh, yeah, you can see they really tried, but the front bumper with that really familiar hole where the headlight should be still isn't working for me. Although they did go all out here, even adding a brand new piece. The daytime running lights use a glow-in-the-dark element, which I actually really like. Of course, there is a ton of stickers, several even go on the frunk, but that doesn't open. Almost nothing is movable in this set since it's designed to be remote controlled. If it hit the wall, everything will just fall off otherwise. So yeah, no opening frunk, but it's totally understandable. We did get a bunch of new parts in this gray color, like the fenders. Unfortunately, the wheels underneath are just generic ones. For a set of this size, unique Lamborghini rims would have been more suitable. Even though I'm not a fan of the front, the doors turn out amazing. They really capture the original lights beautifully. Even that number 63 looks great on it. But again, you can't open them for the reason that I mentioned before. But they do come off easily though. And that's an important thing because that's where the USB-C charging port is hidden. By the way, there's still no cables included. If you check the rear, you can see the same fenders and rims as up front, but here they didn't use black pins, so the red and blue ones really stand out against the gray, and not in a good way. We all know why this happens all the time, but I still don't like it. And finally, we get to the one and only movable feature. The sticker-covered hood can be lifted. And underneath, well, <laughs> the engine is kind of there. <laughs> with some help, obviously with, with a sticker. As usual, I have no issue with the rear. It looks a lot sexier than the front. Even the stickered exhaust and the massive diffuser looks great on it. But now let's see, how does it drive? First, we have to download the Control Plus app. In theory, you should already see the Lamborghini skin available. I'm reviewing this set before the release, and LEGO hasn't given me the beta app access, so, so I use the Porsche interface instead, which worked perfectly fine. So yes, there is front and rear lighting, and the glow-in-the-dark element in the front makes it look even cooler. Plus, if I hit the brakes in the app, the taillights visibly brighten. But what about the RC function? Well, it's exactly the same, like, last year's. 
the acceleration is way more snappy than with the old mothers. It's just so much better overall. You can actually use it as a real RC car. It's not laughably slow like the old ones. Sure, the top speed isn't anything wild, but it's agile, really takes off. It doesn't just crawl along like the earlier versions. So overall this set is pretty much the same as the last year's Porsche, just bigger, better and fancier. Basically this is just a new skin to this hub. Since it's remote controlled, it doesn't have traditional functions, no suspension, no gearbox, no opening features, except the engine cover, but that's what you need to make it sturdy, so nothing breaks off if it hits the wall. The pricing is actually better than last year's. Yes, it costs more, but you're getting way more parts and way more detail. If you can grab it on sale, it could definitely be a great deal. So guys, what do you think of this set? Let me know in the comments below and if you like what you saw, please hit that like button and please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah!